Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve it. If the sign in method you're trying to use isn't allowed, for more info, contact your network administrator. So, this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and this will apply for servers 2019, 2016, 2012, and the forthcoming server 2022. So, pretty straightforward process, guys, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in group policy. Best results should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath computer configuration, double click on the Windows settings folder. Do the same thing now for the security settings option. And then there should be a local policies folder. Double click on that. And then select user rights assignment. On the right panel, there should be something that says allow log on locally. Go ahead and double click on that. Select add user or group. Enter in the name of the user you want to allow to log on locally. At this point, go ahead and enter in the username of the account. Select advance if you're unsure of it and select find now. At this point, you should be able to see a list of account names down here. And then you can just go ahead and select the one you want to select here and then select OK. Then select OK. And once you have done that, you can go ahead and select apply and OK. And you also now want to go down to where it says deny log on locally and double click on that. If you see your user account name in here, you want to go ahead and click it and remove it. Otherwise, if you just see guest or what, whatever it should normally say, it probably shouldn't say anything in here. I mean, unless you specifically added an account, then you would just keep it. Otherwise, if you saw your user account in here that you're looking to allow, you want to go ahead and remove it from the deny log on settings and you just select remove and then select apply and OK to save the change. Then you would just close out of here, restart your computer, and that would be about it. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.